going to build a jet canoe. You need two things, a jet and a canoe. I got both. Ignition. Throttle 100%. This episode is sponsored by KiwiCo. They make DIY educational project kits to help kids learn engineering to become creative problem solvers. The first step in becoming a hacksmith yourself. Things get a little stressful at hacksmith industry sometimes. So I need a way to relax, unwind. I like to come out here outside in nature and enjoy the peace. But you know what? It's not fast enough. So let's fix that. Let's put a jet engine on this thing. Gonna build a jet canoe. You need two things, a jet and a canoe. I got both, let's get started. Okay, so last year we did a one day build of a jet pack and it was pretty awesome. You should check that video out. But now we need the jet engines for the canoe. So I'm gonna take it apart. Okay, great, I've got the jet engine, but one's not enough, let's do two. Okay. Now, let's see where we can mount these. Okay, so there's a few things that we want to consider here. First, they need to be high enough out of the canoe that the exhaust doesn't hit the back of the canoe and melt it because the exhaust is about 800 degrees Celsius. Second, they need to be far enough forwards in the canoe that any kind of spray from the wake doesn't get into the inlet because that could hurt the jet engine. We also want to be able to steer. I want to be able to do some thrust vectoring and steer the canoe somewhere around here. Okay, so fortunately I think I can reuse this pillow block bearing um, which makes my job pretty easy. I just need to find a way to mount it to the canoe. My plan is to tie them together so they move in unison and I just need a single handle with a throttle. Okay, so there's a slot just on the other side of this lip and it'll be perfect for mounting to. Next step is to design a, a plate that sits on here and a clamp that fits into that slot. All right, design's all done, let's go make it. This is a cam lock, a quick and easy way to tighten something. It's the same mechanism used in bicycles for quick releases. Building a jet-powered canoe is definitely not something they teach you in school. The reason we're able to build something like this is because we've done so many little projects over the years which we've learned so much from. So if you want to learn how to build jet canoes in the future, your best bet is to start with small DIY projects to teach you the fundamentals of making. KiwiCo makes monthly project kits that include all the supplies and instructions to build a project. It's a great resource for learning at home. The kits are put together by experts and are great quality. I was impressed by the variety of projects they cover. Every box has everything you need, providing hours of entertainment and education. Plus, the included instructions and magazines have tons of extra content to take learning to the next level. The KiwiCo store lets you select the type of kit you want, check out different projects for inspiration, and also purchase individual kits with no subscription required. With eight styles of kits for every age range possible, you'll find the one that matches your kids' abilities, ensuring success, confidence, and education. I might not have children myself, but I can guarantee, without a doubt, this is one of the easiest ways you can inspire kids' interest in making and keep it educational.
Plus, it gives you a great opportunity to work on projects with your kids. It's a great bonding experience. Click the link in the description below and visit kiwico.com slash hacksmith and use my offer code hacksmith20 for 20% off everything on the site, including subscriptions and everything in store. Big thank you to KiwiCo for sponsoring this video. Okay, the next step is to join them so they move in unison, uh, just like James's drift trike. All right, so the next step is to get a bar to hold on to and steer. And I need to figure out how long that is. So Dave, if you wouldn't mind, 32 inches, and we're gonna have the handle on there. Okay. And I want this one. While I was working on mounting the jet engines, Dave was working on the fuel system and the electronics. He got a 20 liter tank and that'll last us maybe 10 minutes. Um, that's hooked into this Pelican case housing all of the electronics. That goes to the, the handle with the controls. Let's do a test fire. We need a safety crop top. <laughs> Power. Okay, they're both ready. Throttle 100%. Starting. Ignition. Stage one. Oh boy, that is an adventure. There are some, uh, some difficulties. <laughs> Steering is not really a thing. <laughs> it gets a little scary. <laughs> Ian actually left for a canoe trip and he forgot the jet engines, but that's okay because that means I have a chance to upgrade this jet canoe before we do our next test. Because the canoe was very back heavy, it was going out of the water. And if he went any faster, he would actually submerge the rear end and kill the jet engines, which we don't want to do. So what we're planning on doing is adding some outriggers. Basically, we're gonna take these RC plane pontoons and spread them out, maybe with a two by four or something, across the boat. So basically you can't tip the canoe left to right. But in addition to that, I'm actually going to design and 3D print a, what's it called? Rudder, fin, tail, a keel, it's called a keel. All right, so I'm gonna 3D print, well, I'm gonna design and then 3D print a set of keels for the canoe. Just to note, I have no experience in designing anything for aerodynamics or water dynamics, so who knows if this is gonna work. Yay. <laughs> Before I print the keels, let's make sure it actually works and do some flow simulation. Hmm. Yeah. Wait a sec. 
No, I think I, I, I should do it like this. Alright, yeah, that looks like flow is going around it, so let's let's print it. Boop. All right, let's add these to the boat. So let's start by transferring the holes onto the wood so we can drill it and attach these on. We're just going to take this pencil, fully made of lead. 19th century problems require 19th century solutions. She was lead invented then. How old is pencil? Look at that. Ta-da. It's like a little weird boat. All right, we've got our two pontoons for the boat. Now we just have to mount them to canoe, re-add the jet engines, and take it back to the lake. But first, I think we need to show our Canadian pride. Dave? These don't work. They just need to come off. Just to note, I have no experience in designing anything for aerodynamics or water dynamics, so who knows if this is gonna work. What engineering lesson can you take out of these new additions? Don't go on vacation. Yeah, don't go on vacation. <laughs> All right, that was freaking awesome. I actually managed to hydroplane the canoe. Has that been done before? I don't know, but we're gonna try again and I'm gonna try to pull James. It was the best of ideas, it was the worst of ideas. I think that was the most fun I've ever had in a canoe. <laughs> it looked like it. I yeah. had a ton of fun just being towed in the kayak. But uh, I think this is the first of many water projects now. Yeah. yeah. You know, dipped our feet in the water, so to speak. Yeah. Comment below what you want to see. And if you want to see me ride a motorcycle with these, you can, because we already did that. <laughs> Check out that video. So uh, this is my friend Alex. Uh, we just spent the past five days canoeing together, and we're going to see what he thinks of this. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>